Welcome to Phil Hoffman Travel. It's Cruise Week and we've got some great seminars both online and also in store. So please join me, Krista Kinnear, for our fabulous online seminars. Welcome to Phil Hoffman Travel Cruise Webinars. My name is Krista and for today's chapter we're taking you cruising through Europe, especially through the Baltics and beyond to New York. Let me tell you a little bit about our hosted cruising. We have some fabulous cruise packages that have a dedicated onboard cruise host during the duration of your cruise. Now this person's available for a chat or to have dinner, give you some guidance for the ports, or perhaps just somebody that you need to have some time with. And I can tell you that that cruise host does not cost you one single extra cent. So a wonderful way to cruise with some extra assurance. Our hosted cruises, of course, have all meals and entertainment included and enrichment activities on board the ship. And you have get-togethers before you go and also reunions after. What cabin's right for you? If you haven't cruised before, I'll give you some cabin options. For the shorter cruises, I don't mind an inside cabin. The packages that we have start out the prices on an inside cabin but there are no windows at all. So you might like to have a look at the ranges of ocean view cabins, which start from the window that you see here on screen, right through to full length floor to ceiling windows. Of course, um, any longer than seven days, I really love to spoil myself and have a balcony cabin. Imagine say, sailing through the beautiful Norwegian fjords and being able to have breakfast um, or just view the scenery from your own personal balcony. And then so many different ships have so many different suites. So um, some special way of, of upgrading your experience. Bon voyage. Yes, we have meat and mingles. What that does for you, we have uh, some wine and cheese, but it's an opportunity to meet your cruise host and your fellow travellers, and this can be a lot of fun. You learn all about your cruise, the money, how to meet, where to go, and hints and tips on, on the itinerary as well. So everybody raves about these nights. It, it really is a lovely experience. Once you're on board the ship, we have cocktail parties, so you have another opportunity to meet up with your fellow travellers. So in here, we're featured in the Crow's Nest Bar, and everyone just has a, a very casual get-together opportunity to have a, a champagne, glass of wine, or a soft drink, and uh, talk about the trip that uh, you'll be travelling on together. But if you look at these packages and think, well, we really love it, but we do love to do our own thing, no worries, you can absolutely participate in the, the cruise packages, but then you're free to explore on your own. No need to touch base, but I can tell you from experience that some of the people I've traveled with um, have come back to me and said like, wow, it's nice meeting up with uh, some of the fellow travelers. What we give you then is a special card that goes into your lanyard showing you uh, what time your cruise host will be available for a chat or should you need them, what cabin number they're in and also their mobile telephone number for emergencies. So it is a lovely way of being assured that there is somebody else traveling with you, especially if you're on your own or even as a couple that you've got some extra support or some friendships on board. Now we've talked, uh, this is the Mediterranean and heading right up to the Baltic and beyond. So let's have a little look at some of our ports of call. Cruising Northern Europe. One of the ports that we stop at is either Rovstok or Vannemunde, and that gives you the opportunity to visit Berlin. Now this is about two and a half hours in by fast train. So if you are looking at one of these particular voyages, please look at the shore excursions and Phil and Travel have a wonderful collection of shore excursions to save you a little bit of money as well. These have been voted by guests as being some of the most enjoyable on the trip. So we have selected those for your convenience and of course you pay for them, but um, it just makes selection process easier. In Berlin, you'll hear all the wonderful, uh, wonderful, the war history 
and how the uh, Berlin Wall came down, as well as look at the wonderful new infrastructure that is now so popular in Berlin. Here's one of the um, amazing little ports that you'll visit along the way. Uh, this is Rovstock, which is nearby um, to the port of Warnemunde, so you can have that German experience if you choose not to go into Berlin. And this so reminds me, I came from Germany, of the beautiful little German houses um, that I grew up in. So what a lovely way to have a little snapshot of Germany and so many other countries as you travel north. Helsinki, um, very popular port. Um, so much in this area through the Vikings and the, the seafarers of yesteryear. And you can see combined um, with some wonderful new attraction that seem to be in so many of the cruise ports. And there's a cruise ship park right in town. So very easy to get around these beautiful um, cities of Europe. The flower markets and the food markets. It's so nice to be able to have a little wander um, through these back alleys and just explore what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis. Now Oslo, um, what a magnificent capital city. It is just superb, very clear, fresh air, and you can see the ship, one of the ships is berthed right there in the town of Oslo, making it very easy to get around. You see all the quaint little buildings, so many people out to see, so many people in their summertime just love to get out um, and join in with the tourists. Here we've got Jill Rimmer from our Adelaide office. Uh, she took a group and uh, they experienced one of the um, ice bars. So quite a unique experience to get all rugged up and um, go and have a look at this new attraction. Stockholm, one of the oldest towns in Europe, is just so beautiful. Here you've got a shot of the old town and that's a lovely area that you can just uh, wander through and enjoy the scenery. St Petersburg would probably be the highlight of the Baltic area and most of the cruise ships have at least two days in St Petersburg. St Petersburg of course is Russia and anywhere that you're travelling in Russia you will need a Russian visa. To avoid the need to get the Russian visa, the shipping companies will give you amazing excursions and they will take care of the visa. So in this instance, you would need to book the tours from the cruise ship. Some of the smaller cruise ships that travel through Europe even have a three night stay and they, they park the ship right up in the heart of St. Petersburg. So ask our friendly consultants, which ship would suit you better? But isn't this a fabulous view of the, the Summer Palace and these waterfalls that cascade right down to the ocean? This is just a small section. Of course, in St. Petersburg, there's so many different things to see. The Hermitage, um, it is said, like the Louvre, if you spend five minutes in front of every exhibition, you'll be there for about three years. So we will take you, or the tour guides will take you to the highlights, perhaps the Amber Room and some of the magnificent artwork and gold that's to be found. Maybe the Russian Ballet would be something to go and see in the evening. Why wouldn't you to see these stunning performers in their own home country? Copenhagen. Um, a beautiful city where you can uh, partake of a bike ride or perhaps the hop-on, hop-off water buses. Um, there's beautiful palaces. I would suggest perhaps an afternoon tea with Princess Mary. Well, I can't guarantee that, of course, but wander around the beautiful city of Copenhagen, perhaps visit the Tivoli Gardens, or take one of the tours that will take you out through the countryside and see some of the beautiful palaces that are, are out there to be seen. Bergen, this is quite interesting. At the bottom of the funicular on the left, that's where the ship would park. So very easy to walk in town. And the buildings on the right are so typical of places you'll see right throughout Norway and uh, through Copenhagen as well. That's all the seafarers' history. They house the, um, the fishing 
uh, buildings in years of yesterday. And now, of course, they've turned into lovely museums and art galleries and restaurants for the tourists to enjoy and the locals alike because they love to be outside. I took the funicular to the top of the mountain, which afforded beautiful, um, stunning views of the whole area. And I would suggest for a very low price, you could do the same. At the base of the funicular is a grand square. They have an amazing fish market there. So you too can taste either reindeer sausages or some lobster, their prawns, sardines, or perhaps have a taste of a whale burger. Not the whales as we know them, but nevertheless um, a, an amazing array of fish to be seen and also the tourism market's quite close. Alassund is one of the beautiful picturesque ports and you can see here that the um, architecture is all quite similar and very nice and the company, the shipping company will give you tours of some smaller fjords that you might like to cruise to or perhaps a trip up to the mountains. In Flum, this is not to be missed. This is the Flum Railway, one of the historic train journeys in the world. She leaves, the train leaves right from the port and goes through the mountains. You can just jump on the train and uh, go up and then come back or definitely what I suggest is what I did. I did the ship tour which meant I was guaranteed a spot on this train. We went right up to Voss stopping at waterfalls so you could disembark the train, take photos of the magnificent scenery, get back on the train. We had a lovely lunch in Voss and then we had the coach trip that showed us different scenery along the zigzag road stopping for a spectacular afternoon tea, nice little palace, and then coming back into Flum. This is truly a delight of that area. It's not the cheapest tour, but I can tell you, um, you will not be disappointed. Spectacular scenery. And as you can see from the image here, snow on the mountains. And as the snow melts, there are some sensational waterfalls. And the waterfalls will be seen right through the fjords. So many different fjords, just depending on how far you are traveling through Norway. And you can see everywhere as you're cruising through there, make sure that you're outside on deck. It is just beautiful and the fresh air, and you'll see people camping on the side of the fjords. You'll see houses perched right up on the cliffs with no roads. And it begs the question, how do they get up there? A lot of the houses that are perched up on the mountains, they will haul their supplies that arrive by boat. So this is a beautiful area to cruise through. It's kind of like cruising through New Zealand, but on steroids. Um, here we've got a picture of Mario, our manager at our Modbury office, traveling with his father, and they've just cruised right up the Gayranga Fjord. And this is a spectacular journey as well, uh, one of the many fjords. Then a walk or a tour to the top of the mountain. Mario experienced this on the land of the Midnight Sun cruise with Oceana. So many different voyages that will take you up to this unique part of the world. Um, if you do travel north to the land of the Midnight Sun, Spitsbergen is spectacular with its ice um, glaciers and its ice flows through that area as well. So something a little further north, cruising the Midnight Sun, almost up into the Arctic Circle. Many of the cruises that we have now are taking in Scotland and Ireland. So you have some spectacular class. Uh, castles of um, this case Glasgow an opportunity to visit maybe spy or spot the Loch Ness Monster at Inverness and then the Edinburgh Castle which is spectacular and some of the cruisers even go at the right time and have an overnight so you can see the military tattoo. Ireland um, what a beautiful way to cruise through the Irish coast and take in Dublin, the famous Temple Bar District. Liverpool, I did come into Liverpool and I found this to be a unique port. 
Wow, they've certainly embraced tourism with a magnificent port area, very easy to walk around, some amazing architecture here. And of course, a chance to catch up with um, the Beatles history tour. Uh, we did go and have a look where the Beatles started and some of the homes. So a very interesting port of Liverpool. There's lots of repositioning cruises. So starting in Europe and finishing off in USA. And what happens is the ships tend to leave in September from Europe heading away from the European summer and then cruising in through USA for their September, for their changing of the autumn colours before they head down into the Caribbean. So we'll have a look at some of the itineraries of those as well. Here we've got the port of Reykjavik in Iceland and some of the cruise ships have two or three stops there. A very unique destination if you haven't been up through that area still quiet and sleepy and a stunning countryside. Reykjavik or Iceland known for its thermal pools and stunning scenery. Across to Greenland this is the uh, stepping stone for the Arctic Circle and some of the smaller cruise ships head right up into that area in the search of photographs of the polar bears. So Greenland, very interesting area to travel through. Um, on the way to Halifax and of course the history of the Titanic being the main object or it's not the main object but Definitely things that you'd be exploring to see um, all the amazing images of the Titanic era. As you cruise into Halifax and then on to New York, um, bucket list stuff. I would really, and I haven't done it, love to cruise into New York past this wonderful lady, the Statue of Liberty. So what wonderful journeys there are on offer. Let's have a look at some of those. Um, this is a tour or a cruise that starts in Rome, heads around the Iberian coast and then touches on Flum Oslo of Norway and some of those beautiful fjords that I was just talking about. This is a brand new cruise ship with Holland America, the Königsdamm. This particular voyage starts on the 9th of May. 20 night fly cruise package you can use that package as a building block so if there's other things that you want to see in Europe or perhaps spend some time with friends and relatives you can use these fly cruise packages to build a further holiday but in this case when we leave um, Civita Vecchia um, we go around the Spanish coast visiting Gibraltar the rock which is very British um, being the landmark to defend uh, the um, parts of Spain um, from North Coast Africa many years ago. And there are still in the rock all the cannons featured and the history as well some, as some magnificent caves. Then we head round to Lisbon and Porto in Portugal and La Coruna. In Porto, you'll see the Duro River and have an opportunity to just go a little way out for a little bit of a cruise to see where some of the new river cruise vessels are now travelling from. We head up to Le Havre, which is an access point for Paris. Bruges in Brussels with all its chocolate and its canals and stunning scenery there. And what's so very special for this particular cruise is we have a christening. The ship will be christened because, as I mentioned, she's brand new in Rotterdam, which is the head office for Holland America. Now, if you've never been to a christening, this will be an amazing day and or night. And who would be the godparents? We haven't been advised yet, but having been to a christening, I can tell you there's spectacular events and it's your opportunity to take part in that part of history. From there, the ship heads up to Amsterdam and, as I said, goes around those beautiful Norwegian fjords. Now, here's another one. It's still on the Koenigsdam, which is the brand new ship for Holland America. Two departures, 12th of June and 28th of August, and the beautiful ports of Norway, plus the ports of what we call the True Baltic, Stockholm, Helsinki, Tallinn, which is a picturesque, beautiful little town, overnight in St. Petersburg. We have Copenhagen, 
Kiel for Hamburg, and then we have Warnemunde for your access point to Berlin. So that is a great itinerary from 6490. So amazing prices for this amount of nights traveling on a brand new ship. The ship will then also be heading up to Iceland and touching on Scotland as well. So I don't know which tour I'd pick. So depends where you've been before. Gorgeous, gorgeous ports of, of Norway and then heading right up and doing almost circumnavigation of Iceland and also uh, Scotland. And at Edinburgh, you can actually get onto the Queen's uh, vessel her former ship, the Royal Yacht Britannia, and have a look at that. I found that very, very interesting. This cruise, beautiful time to go, 14th of August. It should be an absolutely beautiful summertime cruise. Now, when the cruise ships uh, finish in Europe, here's an opportunity to travel in with Holland America from Copenhagen, visiting some ports of call in Iceland, some ports of call in Greenland, then heading down to picturesque St. John's through to Halifax and New York. And this particular cruise will be hosted by Manuela Kretschmer, 21st of August 2016 from 6599. Now, if you talk to Manuela, this cruise finishes in New York. Have at least three days in New York. You cannot arrive in the autumn with the beautiful autumn colours and not spend some extra time or perhaps do some extra touring in America while you're there. Fabulous value for this particular journey. We have many cruise ships as we have mentioned in other seminars. We, ho we look after all different ships, big, small. In this case, we're showcasing some of celebrities New ships, this is the Silhouette from Amsterdam back to Amsterdam. 12 night fly cruise package right up into the Baltic area. Maybe this is one you want to combine with a river cruise. Get the best of both worlds. We have the British Isles cruise. Um, this is fantastic. This is 12 nights aboard the Caribbean Princess, including return airfares. We have a Phil Hoffman cruise host on board and this is the date that you have an optional tour to Edinburgh to see the tattoo on the 12th of August. I would definitely consider this. This is sensational. Um, on the Caribbean Princess, departs 20th of May and the 12th of August, but the 12th of August includes the opportunity to visit the military tattoo right there in Scotland. And that is priced from 4729. Talking of the British Isles, we have uh, an opportunity to travel with Shirley Harris. This cruise um, just has a couple of spots left and departs on the 11th of September. Actually, I'm looking at this now and no, I don't think we will have time to, to jump on this cruise. So we will have that opportunity to travel next year as well. Uh, just looking at the Regal Princess, um, if you are looking at a big ship, this is just spectacular and she will be doing that same cruise again next year. Queen Mary does her repositioning cruise and we have some great packages available. Two nights fly Adelaide to Hong Kong, two nights at the Langham Hong Kong Hotel, then continue on to London, two nights at the London Milestone Hotel, and then you have your seven night Queen Mary cruise London to New York, two nights in the New York Plaza Hotel, and then a flight from New York to Adelaide. The airport and cruise, uh, airport to cruise uh, transfers are included. So what a sensational package, 13 night package from 6990. Now we have some booking bonuses available here as well. Holland America with all our packages, we've got a $100 beverage card, we've got a Pinnacle Grill dinner for two, a special invitation to the Phil Hoffman cocktail parties and the private home to airport transfer just to make sure that your journey kicks off with the very best start and our very special port notes. 
Now, if you book early, there may be the opportunity to have the Pinnacle Grill lunch and the Canaletto dinner as well. Princess Cruises, we've got some great packages. Pick up this Princess Cruises Europe collection for 2015. And coming out very soon will be our collection for 2016. And we even have some of the dates coming through for beyond that. We look forward to helping you at Phil Hoffman Travel during our very special cruise sale week, which actually is going to be extended for the month of September because Phil Hoffman Travel started at Glenelg 25 years ago and we're celebrating the anniversary of this event for the whole month of September with some crazy specials and amazing deals from the cruise company. So pick up that phone, ask one of our consultants, walk into the office, look for the sensational um, seminars that we have or send us an email. Have a look on the website www.pht.com.au. I do hope that you have enjoyed a little glimpse into Baltic cruising. While today we've talked about a few cruise companies, we do look after all the specialty ships as well. The Seabourn, Silver Seas, Ponant, um, beautiful ships that travel, travel all over the world and definitely through the Baltic region. Azamara is another one, just to mention a few, and Oceana Cruises. So please um, contact the office if you'd like more information. Oh, my name is Krista, always happy to chat to you.